Greetings. This is the story of Simon J. Burge. Simon J. is a government agent in the year 2044. He is at age 40 and seemingly is on a downer point of his life. He's still a great agent, saving the world from evils, alongside his friendly rival, Jason Stryker, who is the same age. But it appears the government wants to drop him, despite him clearly being a great person who will do anything to protect his people. But they don't don't care, because all they see is lowering prices, having to pay him for what his work is. And instead of simply approaching him to see if he's willing to take a pay decrease, they choose to try to drop him, coming up with the most random excuses. But luckily, many agents have, and even people have always managed to save him. And from this, pointing out some of the flaws in their logic. And what makes this interesting is that Simon doesn't even want the money. He's perfectly fine to save his country for free. But... That for some reason, even though he's told them this, they continue to just try to fire him instead of taking that risk. Possibly out of fear of controversy of people of the general public not really caring about the fact that Simon himself does not want the money. Today, Simon is what is possibly going to be his last mission due to the newest excuse the government has come up with is the most solid one they have up and nobody has yet to come up with an actual good excuse or counter to it. And for this mission, Simon has been given a new team of agents known as Operation Omega to fill out Operation Omega, the biggest mission in the government history up to that point. A mission to try to get an island out of a time warp, an island that contains several high school students who went there in 2023, for a trip on survival training, but has been caught in a time warp. It's believed that if they were to come out of the time warp, they would not actually have experienced as much time to have passed as it had in the outside world. Simon is happy if this would be his last mission, and if he was able to make it be successful, as he'd be saving millions of families from the sadness of never seeing their children again, or even and their fellow parents, lovers, or anything else from the teachers. The new squad isn't the best. The only agent there he's familiar with is his friendly rival, Jason, who is also said to have his final mission for Operation Omega. The new crop of agents includes a young 16-year-old tech guy named... Bobby, a young 20-year-old college jock who has been given mechanical armor attachments and has been turned into a cyborg after Gravis' injury he had experienced on his way back from a trip, and the young 20-year-old Jaina Jones an Australian woman who moved to America for a better life. The operation was about to begin, as they knew this could be the most dangerous thing they've ever experienced. At least, that's what was going through the heads of Simon and Jason. The other new recruits were unfamiliar with this threat and what was going on, and they had only merely heard of what was going on the island. But Simon was prepared. Knowing this could be his final mission, he brought in several bombs in case things went hectic, as a terrorist group was determined to keep the island in the time warp and use it as ransom. So in case push came to shove, he was willing to put his life on the line to destroy whatever device they were using to stop the time warp from passing on. And they were informed that there is a chance even if they do successfully perform everything correctly, the time warp might still remain, as it might need to naturally remove itself over time. And they were well aware of this going in. The new recruits were too hopeful, cocky, and believed they would most definitely succeed. 
but the two more seasoned agents knew better that there was always a chance of failure. Will this succeed? I guess you'll have to tune in for the next episode.